Hey kids, welcome to Unit 1, Lesson 10, Two-Way Selection Statements, Exercise Number 4. In Painter Plus Java, we're going to write a method signature for the Move South method. Inside the Move South method, we're going to write a method from our pseudocode. You can remember our pseudocode we wrote in class here. And from that pseudocode, we're going to write Java code for a Painter Plus object to move forward while it can move south. If it is not facing south, it should turn right. Otherwise, move forward. And you can see we have a little example here. So it looks like it's the old code we wrote the other day, which had the sprite pickup buckets. And then if it gets down here and if it can move south, it will. Hmm. We have our little helpful hints right there. I think we can do it without it. Let's go up here and start writing this out. So first thing I know I need to be in my painter plus. I'm going to be after my last method and I left a big gap here. So that was very helpful. And what I need to do is write the method signature and the method signature here for move south is going to be public void move south. And we need our curly cues. So that is my method signature for my move south method. Let's take a look at this pseudocode and what it wants us to do. And the keyword here is not facing south. While we can move south, if not facing south, turn right, else move. Long as we're not facing south, I want you to move. Otherwise, we'll have you turn right. That doesn't sound too hard to write. Under here, we're going to go back tab over. So again, while we can move in which direction? Well, south. That's our while statement. We need a curly Q here. So while we can move south, if we're not facing south, so is not facing south need another curly Q because there's a statement here we are going to turn right so as long as we're not facing south we're going to turn right and this little curly Q is attached there so we have to come up here with that one else well else we just want to move right Let's give us a little room here. Ooh, we have a bunch of curly cues down there. We're going to move. And let's clean this up just a little. And then this is my main. And I'm going to comment this right here is just main. This just helps me track it in the future. And let's just comment this right here as well. So this one right here is move sprite south as long as it can move south. Else, turn right. That seems pretty good to me. Let's go over here. We have to test it and we have to call this method. So we're going to go to my painter plus, and this time we're going to do move south like that. That means my first method should run, get me to here, and then my move south method should run after that and take me all the way to the bottom. Well, let's see if we're right, kids. Oh, we have a spelling error. And it looks like I have an uppercase E there. I'm gonna take it as, oh, that's my issue. And you can see as soon as we changed that, it went to pink. So that looks better. 
classic road spelling error. Let's see if there's anything else here. Nope, looks pretty good. Let's run. I think this is going to be good after this. Looks like it worked perfect and exactly like my example down here. Key takeaways from this lesson, kids. Again, this is that anatomy of an if-else statement and understanding how things execute under those conditions. An important part of this too, again, is reinforcing how to use that not operator. I cannot understate how important it is for you to understand this anatomy of an if-else statement and how these two different conditions are executed. Hopefully you found this video helpful in understanding two-way selection statements. As always, if you have any questions, kids, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson, kids. See you later. Bye, bye, bye.